By the end of this video, you will be able to recreate this Earth ground track plot and customize it to show whichever cities that you would like. I chose the cities for this plot based on where YouTube tells me where you, my followers, are watching from, but it's incomplete data. So let me know down in the comments which city or country you're watching from, and I'll add it to the plots in the future videos. I'd love to see this whole map get completely filled out. And since Europe is a bit crowded here, I have a zoomed in version, which you can see as well basically how this ground track is made with all the different points that are in it. So the 31st video in this series, I'm going to go over uh, plotting Earth's coastlines and the cities themselves. So as far as the coastlines, it's basically just a collection of thousands of points. And even though it's around 60,000 points, it's actually very fast to plot with a NumPy array, but not with a for loop. Um, so you want to make sure that when you actually plot it, you put it in an array and then use the plot function like that, and it makes it really fast. And this is all in a CSV file in a GitHub repository that I made. So I did make a GitHub repository. I don't have actually any Python in there. I'm only adding these two CSV files for now. Um, maybe I'll add a Python in the future. I'm kind of have mixed feelings about putting Python um, in the GitHub as far as learning, uh, but I can cover that in the future video. But basically, I'll have a link in the description to this GitHub account where I have this coastlines.csv, which has basically all the 60,000 points you need to plot of the coastlines, and the world cities, which is like a little database uh, CSV of the world cities, their names, and their lat long coordinates. So, yeah, and then that goes as far as the city. So, all from the users who watch my videos. So, YouTube basically kind of tells you where you, your users are watching from, but it's incomplete data because not everyone says where they're from. So, that's why um, I'd love to know where you guys are actually watching from. It's pretty cool to see how, that, how many countries are actually watching my videos. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, and again, that CSV file is also in the GitHub repository. So, oh, and I have to mention that where I got the. Um, the data files for the coastlines was, was from this GitHub repository where this person has it in a TXT file and I actually didn't really like the format that they were doing it. Um, it doesn't show here, but um, basically they just had a bunch of end weird statements so I just converted it into a CSV, but I did get the data from this uh, account. And then for all the world cities lat long, I got it from this world cities database called uh, from simplemaps.com. And you don't have to go to these because I just I have the CSV files in the GitHub account, which is why I made that. But just letting you know where I actually got this data. So getting into the Python, here we go. Uh, so to create those plots, it was a super simple script. So this is just a main script where I'm just calling the ground tracks function, uh, putting in a list of city names, uh, showing the plot, file name, all that good stuff. So as far as uh, how to actually plot the ground tracks, so this is going to be a lot like the plot and orbits because you're basically just plotting an amount of arrays. You're just doing it in a different way, so it's going to be a 2D array for each. So the first thing you want to do is you want to load the coastline coordinates just to get all those 60,000 points. And then actually NumPy has a really nice function called gen from text. We just give it a file name, a delimiter, which is a comma because CSV, comma, separated values. Uh, you get that and that already loads it into a NumPy array, so it's super convenient. So then you can just, with two lines, you can load all the data and then plot it just like that. And I have the marker size 0 0.3 to make them kind of small. So as far as the coastline CSV, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's just as you'd expect. It's just, uh, just a bunch of lat longs for all the coastlines. I didn't put a header in here. Um, and it is exactly 59,767 points. So that, that's what it is. It's actually super simple. It's just a CSV and NumPy does a good job of reading it super fast. Um, I will cover this in the next video, just kind of actually plotting the ground tracks of the orbits. But the more importantly in this video, covering the cities and then how to um, label each separate point. So first what you want to do is you want to get the city's lat long uh, city dict. So basically I created a city dictionary um, I'll get to that in a second. But basically, this function that I just have in the Python tools, uh, this file I have in the Python tools folder, and I just have a function in here called city dict, which just creates uh, that dictionary where each key is going to be the name of the city, and then the value pair, or the value is going to be a list with the lat long coordinates of it. I guess I'll show the world city CSV. This is what it looks like. So it's just, this is quite long as well, I think around 15,000. Yeah, a little over 15,000 just different cities around the world. And what they have is their city uh, with special characters. Uh, so I get the city ASCII, the ASCII, so that way the Python can read it every single time. And you have the lat long there. So that's how I get those. Um, so you basically just create a dictionary that has all those. And then you're just going to plot each city. So the coordinates are just 
given by the cities, which is a dictionary, and then the city name to index into it, and then go ahead and plot just the point uh, with a color plus making sure that you're specifying to the plot function that it's gonna be a point, and then marker size, you can change this as you'd like, and you can make it bigger or smaller. Um, and then as far as the annotation, you just I just switched even and odd. So if it's even, go above. It's, if it's odd, go below. Super simple. And then as far as the annotate function, I'll put a link in the description to the um, documentation for this annotate function. It's pretty useful. But basically, just here's a bunch of options that I use in order to be able to get it to look the way that it does in the in the um, in the plots. So and then I also have a new little um, specific or argument here to the PLT grid because I just wanted to make it dotted instead of lined. So that's just super simple. Line style equals dotted. And then if you want to do the degree symbol here in matplotlib, you just have to use this. It's just a special little syntax. It'll get you the degree symbol and same show and save plot as always. So it's actually a pretty super straightforward thing, but it's actually it's going to be very useful as far as doing analysis for orbits down the line. So yeah, and then, yep, I got over this. These are the, so this list goes farther. I just took a screenshot of what YouTube is showing me, but there's more countries that are on there. Um, so that's it for this video. I'll be sure to hit the like button if you liked it uh, to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And in the next video, I'm gonna go over how to transform the, the ECI coordinates of the orbits into Earth center, Earth fix, in order to then be able to actually plot into lat long into these plots. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.